I think we're actually, this is good, but we are, or there's something, we're missing something. Like what? We're missing you. Me? Yes, sir. Come on. What is going on awesome peeps? Brett McCluskey here with Electrified Reviews and today we are reviewing the Unirau G30 cargo electric bike. This thing is super cool and as you can see we got a spot back here for a passenger. We're gonna try that out today but first let's dive into the specs. What's happening, my fellow e-bike friends? Today, we are going to be riding around and discussing the G30 Cargo from Unirau. This is a versatile cargo electric bike with a max range of around 60 miles, and that's before we discuss the optional secondary batteries. There's a ton of use cases here, and I'm looking forward to diving into the specs with you on this one. The Unirau G30 Cargo has a starting price of $1,700 USD, but if you opt for all the upgrades, you're looking at a cool $2,430 USD. A little bit of a bump. Unirau offers a five-year comprehensive warranty on their frames, which covers pretty much everything except for normal wear and tear, and a two-year warranty on their batteries, with a tiered pricing system for various warranty durations after that. We reviewed quite a few e-bikes from Unirau at this point, and just like with all the other models, the overall fit and finish on the G30 Cargo is top notch. All right, let's dive into the specs. The Unirau G30 Cargo has a 500 watt hub motor that can bring this ride up to a top speed of 20 miles per hour out of the box, which can be reached using the half grip twist throttle or the cadence sensing pedal assist, making this a class two e-bike through and through. Perfect for those areas with stricter e-bike laws. The Unirau G30 Cargo utilizes a cadence sensor, but there's very little latency with motor activation and deactivation, which is always a nice bonus. When it comes to battery power, we've got a plethora of options. The base model has a 48 volt, 15 amp hour capacity, and it utilizes Samsung cells with a max estimated range of about 65 miles in ideal riding conditions. Unirau also offers a primary battery upgrade to 20 amp hours, which will get you a few more miles, but you can also attach a second battery right behind the seat tube and that has options of an additional 14 amp hour battery or a 17 amp hour version. Between the two upgraded batteries, you could get a total of 37 amp hours, which is impressive to say the least. That is a lot of juice and you could almost start your journey in one state and end up in another. I mean, depending on what state you live in. The frame on the Unirau G30 Cargo is made of 6061 aluminum alloy and weighs in at roughly 69 pounds. This is pretty impressive considering cargo bikes in general usually come in around 75 pounds or even quite a bit heavier sometimes. The low standover height of 25 inches makes this ride fairly easy to get on and off. Now, this isn't the mind-bogglingly low standover height of the Bentelli Florence, which has the same step over height of your average sidewalk, but it is very approachable and makes mounting and dismounting incredibly easy, which is an important aspect if you're considering Uber Eats or other types of delivery services. Speaking of making deliveries, the optional basket kit offers tons of extra storage. And the front basket is attached directly to the frame, which makes it way easier to steer when it's loaded up with cargo. This is a cargo bike that would be right at home, flying around town during a busy lunch hour, delivering wings and other scrumptious delights to hungry customers. Even without the basket kit, the Unirau G30 Cargo is a pretty versatile ride that can serve as a capable passenger commuter. The passenger footrests are a welcomed addition in this stock configuration, although they might interfere with pedaling for those with larger feet, like me. 
The Unirail G30 Cargo comes stock with suspension front forks, which really smooths out the ride. And even though the shocks are not very impressive in their own right, they do add a lot to the overall ride comfort, and you can bet your bottom dollar that we would definitely rather have these than a rigid front fork. As always, I enjoy the double-sided kickstand, and for a cargo bike, this is exactly what you want. It keeps whatever is in the basket and rear rack nice and secure when it's deployed. I mean, look, the last thing that you want is to pull up to a delivery and have the bike tip over and all of your goods and food spilling out onto the street. Nobody wants that. In the rear of the Unirail G30 Cargo, we've got a Shimano Altus derailleur with a seven speed cassette and Shimano SIS index thumb shifter up front. This is a nice upgrade from the Shimano Tourney, which is Shimano's entry level derailleur. This will also help minimize derailments, as will the double-sided plastic chain guard. To bring the Unirail G30 cargo to a stop, we've got Unirail branded dual piston hydraulic disc brakes with 180mm rotors in the front and rear wheels. These brakes provide ample stopping power with a single rider and can even bring a fully packed G30 cargo to a screeching halt if desired. The headlight on the Unirail G30 Cargo is brighter than average, and really it's just about bright enough to be your only source of light for a ride at night. That's a tongue twister. Cable management on the Unirail G30 Cargo is awesome, with everything bundled together and internally routed. This adds to a sleeker than average look, so 10 points to Unirail. The handlebars here are telescoping, so you can adjust the reach a bit depending on your height, and they also fold to help get the G30 cargo into some tighter storage spaces, but with the width of the rear footrest, you're not going to gain much of an advantage in that department, but still, there might be some scenarios that this would be a welcome addition. The display on the Unirail G30 cargo is standard for bikes at this price range, which is not a knock by any means. The screen does the job we need it to do, and it displays pertinent information in an informative way. That is definitely a tongue twister. There are a ton of extras here that I'd like to point out. First, we have a rear wheel splash guard keeping passengers' feet or side-mounted pannier bags nice and dry during the wetter months. We've got fenders both on the front and rear wheels, and we've also got plenty of other mounting points, including bottle cage bosses, front basket attachments, and enough tie down spots on the rear rack to make carrying just about anything not only possible, but pretty easy. Overall, the Unirail G30 Cargo is a very capable cargo bike, ready to support a couple of kids, one full size passenger, or just a bunch of gear. The range possibilities are ridiculous on this ride, which just, which just, it just adds to the functionality. I mean, this thing can do almost anything. Are there some slight tweaks that we'd like to see on future models? Yeah, sure. But at this price point, you're getting a super solid cargo bike from a super solid company. What do you guys think of the G30 Cargo? Let us know down in the comments below. Thanks for joining along for another e-bike review, awesome peeps. We got a ton of cool things brewing here at Electrified Reviews headquarters, and we are excited to share those things with you over the next few months. So take care, my friends. And now let's ride. my fellow e-bike friends that is it for the review of the Unirail G30 electric bike I hope you guys dug this review I hope you're having a fantastic day if you could take a moment to like comment and sub selectified reviews that would be super awesome we would appreciate it help the channel grow and it would just be fantastic so thank you guys again have a wonderful day and until next time peace